Well, Leslie Newbigin would be very happy today. We have uh, sufficiently euthanized um, many missionaries, evidently. Um, he'd be very, very happy to hear that. Um, let me. Just, uh, there's a couple of things I want to say and some thanks I want to give. Um, one of the things I want to say relates, it, it's just a point of privilege, right, um, relates to um, funding and finances and things like this. Uh, just as a little help, perhaps, I can give you, one of our practices, and I've learned this from a, a fellow missionary in Indonesia, was that when we came up when someone came with a request for funding or with an issue that seemed like, well, what they're looking for is funding, you know, don't have the direct ask, you ask over here and hope that I'll give you the cash to answer that sort of thing. What, I think the absolute best response or, or way to respond to that that I've ever heard was to say, okay, brother, let's ask the Lord how he wants to answer this. Now, isn't that a great thing? Because let, let's talk about dependence. We all have it. We just want our dependence to be on him who has all, owns all, and wants us to ask so that he can give. How will the global south ever afford to do all of the things, to fulfill the birthright? Well, I don't know. Frankly, you don't know. Honestly, none of us know but he knows. Let's ask him. And will he answer? Yes, he'll answer in his time, in his way. He always has, he always does, right? So I, I, I rest on that. Um, by the way, full disclosure here, uh, in my work and the work that I supervised, we never paid a pastor but we did pay uh, trainers. We pay uh, much like the um, MSS, is that right? MSS, um, the mobilization strengthening strategist to, to go and do pastoral training and things like this. So um, full disclosure, I have been involved in supporting that. We actually usually did uh, supported some of it, but not it in its entirety. One other thing I want to say is that um, um, I want to get down to talking about, we talked about the job of a missionary, I think, uh, Mac, you brought this up, and then we talked about how it's contextually dependent. Here's how I like to phrase it, and I hope it's memorable. The job of a missionary is not to do what you want to do, not to do what you would prefer to do. But do what needs to be done. Now, that means that you have to go to a situation, to assess the state of things. That was actually mentioned by one of our speakers. Determine what the host people and place requires in terms of the gospel, and then do that. That's the job. But now that I've had a chance to sort of uh, take my points of privilege, I want to thank you all. Um, this has been extraordinary for me. I hope it has been for you. And I want to express thanks to our speakers. You have responded graciously to, uh, to my ask, and we have benefited greatly from your gracious response. So thank you. Thank you to our events and events tech team. Uh, as always, they've just been amazing. Thank you to my beloved interns and staff from the Bevan Center. Can you all just raise your hands or stand up so we can see who you are? Stand up, there you go. Let me tell you, I just have, uh, it's, it's a privilege really to work with these young men and women. Um, Koi, this is your last official duty. Uh, Koi is leaving us after being an intern and then a staff member, and now a quitter. Uh, <laughs> but boy, he looks dashing in a bow tie, doesn't he? Um, Koi and his wife are going to Florida to take up full-time ministry, although uh, we still have our hooks in him. He will continue his doctoral studies with probably the finest professor you've ever met. Um, he will go unnamed at this point. But uh, Coy, just thank you. Uh, you are a wonderful young man. I appreciate you so much. And it's great to be able to say thank you in front of, of a great cloud of witnesses, if I may put it that way. But boy, don't we owe thanks to the Lord. 
uh, friends, uh, the, the atmosphere, the questions, the heart uh, here has just been far beyond my expectation. Certainly has nothing to do with my doing. But it is an answer to prayer. And so I want to pray and thank him again. Heavenly Father, you are good. You give to us far more than we even know to ask. You have been so generous these past day and an evening. I'm overwhelmed with your generosity and your kindness to us. We are imperfect and we certainly don't deserve it, but we're thankful. I ask that you bless the work of my brothers and sisters. Strengthen their hand, Father. Multiply their work. Bear the fruit that you seek from their labor and all that you and you alone might be glorified. We pray these things in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen.